Trim doesn't, trim sounds like vagina. Yeah, it, it is. That's just the word I use for sex, period. I know, but that's, but that would be implying that Lulu's a lesbian. That's not implied. No, I'm just you one of the niggas, make, so. You gotta make it weird, man. Just stop, okay? You said, it's just yeah. like, say, did you get some more bush or something? Like, All right, Meg. Now, see, what you do right now is you ruin. Why are you the front. You, you say what? Meg, just leave me alone. Shit. Oh. Just leave me alone, shit. Why you say no. like pee like everybody else? Because I didn't Ooh. want to, Lou. I mean, a man. I did go on a date last night, though. Ooh, okay. how'd it go? You like him? No. Uh, he's weird. What do you mean? Uh, it's like <laughs> every time I ask him a question, I ask me a question, man. This is him every time. So, uh, what do you, kind of things do you like to do? Ooh, kind of things I like to do. Oh, that nigga had a, he had a he had a hmm. in his ear, and somebody was feeding <laughs> <his eyes> to <laughs> say, "I think I should have to think for some shit like that." Yo, I I said like by the third question, I was fed up. I was like, "Yo, just answer the damn question." He's like, "Nah, because I'm just trying to think because I know you analyzing me right now, and <laughs> women like to analyze." So I just want to give you the best answer. I said, don't give me no scripted answer. Give me just a real ass answer. Just be you. Yeah, that's the best Ooh. thing to do. Don't switch it up. So Ooh. you 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 sell Ooh. the person on one thing and then and then give them something completely different. You um, gotta make me like the representative. Don't be the representative. Just be you, man. Just be who you uh, are. He was like, be who I am. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> oh. so that was the whole date so the date took three hours instead of an hour and a half because he couldn't give me a concise answer where were y'all at where did y'all go for the date uh we went to classic cat in uh hollywood is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah okay a bar it's a little yeah, it's a it's a restaurant yeah. um so classic cat it, I mean, he did. He did what I like. He he brought flowers, which I really, really, really love. Okay. Um, but he was just a weird individual. I don't know. Where did you I meet him? Hinge. Uh, okay. Well. Signing the niggas up for the army on the street corner. This nigga <laughs> just put his phone number down. She called to check his vitals. He was like, "By the way, Loki, that's a good ass idea to hear." <laughs> <laughs> you still got your you still got your army greens to go out there and sign some niggas up. Listen, this is the perfect time. Go to the picket lines. Go to Universal. You know what I'm saying? Pull up on the picket lines for some sandwiches and some 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 surveys. Let niggas fill it out and only have their phone. Sandwiches number. and surveys. Yeah, all we need what is your phone the, number. Who are you trying to get it? Like eight things? You know, a sandwich and some surveys. Hey, who wants food out there? I'm 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 planning on going. I met somebody uh yesterday. Uh, and she's a captain of a team, and she be scheduling people to go. I thought I'm gonna pull up with her, so they be needing people to come out. Yeah. With her, so. mm -hmm. I mean, what's, what's up, Pat? Up, what's what up, up Pat? What's up, Peachy? What's up, y'all? Yeah. Are everybody here? Mm-hmm. How about my make it? Hey, Pat, what you, you eating? Bro, Pat got peaches. You got some peaches over there, Lou? You got any peaches? Or is it just regular fruit? Anybody else, got, anybody else got a lonely peach? Just one singular peach that I they do. bring my house? to a gathering. Anybody? Anybody else? No? That's what he did? I brought a peach. <laughs> For who? For everyone at the gathering? No. I be renting boats, right? I rent these boats and we go out of the water, we drink, we smoke, we have a good time on the water, right? Why do we go on my boat? Because listen, <laughs> it's out the uh, it's out in Newport Beach. And so you got boat money. And so I'll I'll call people randomly, last minute. Hey, I'm doing this in a couple hours. You see how we do that in there? You see how we do that in there? Last minute. Yeah, Pat. Then I call. I, I, I hit you like the night before, like when we about to go to bed. That ain't like, last hey, minute. That I'm ain't doing. last minute. It's not last minute. That is like, the night before. The boat rides for less than twenty four hours. I'll ride out to the uh, out to the yes. You said six a.m. No, it's ten a.m. Earliest earliest ride is ten a.m. See how he he brought this up to <laughs> to to set me up. He now he's getting attacked. <laughs> Not going. Pat brought, brought Pat brought two bottles of champagne and a lonely ass peach. 
But he sat it on the table like it was for everybody. Mm. It was my it was my breakfast on the way there, but I didn't eat it. <laughs> so I just had a peach on me. And oh, that's a, you, me. you said he brought champagne. That ain't bad then. You bought something for everybody. Yeah. So, shut up to here just because you uh -huh. wanted it. I'm sorry that uh and why you ain't write nobody else? <laughs> Not to here's the type of nigga that make he made fun of me for having fruit. Come on, Peach Pat. <laughs> you know gerbils eat fruit. Come on, Peach Pat. Man, shut your shoulders up. Nigga got Ooh, apples you and town? salads. <laughs> I've never gotten bullied for having healthy options. <laughs> yeah. Oh, healthy ass nigga. Well, count, count your days, motherfucker. <laughs> this nigga got a peach, y'all. I was like, this nigga damn. Eat and peaches. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Well, some of y'all had a good old time. It was all right. It was a good time. Straight. How long you be on the water for? Um, two, three hours. This time was oh, that's cool. Uh, Y'all are welcome to come. I mean, Meg, you can't come. CP ain't gonna come. He ain't gonna drive out there early. Lou, you'll come? Lou will come. Stop playing. I, 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 just, pull up. I honestly haven't done it since last year. Last year, I used to do it a lot. And it was just hella random. Like, it's a nice day. I'll go on the water. So I'll hit you on the next one. Oh, God. You I didn't invite me last year either. I didn't know you would come last year. Ooh. You know, I like boats and hoes. I didn't. I know you like hoes. There was boats. You have a male <laughs> hoes for me? You have some. Male I mean, hose. we can we can invite some. We can invite some. Do that. Do that, please and thank you. I got you. Say less. We get some male hoes. I don't know the docks are kind of dangerous nowadays, so relax. <laughs> <laughs> not, to, not to fight fight our way to the boat next time. <laughs> 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 hey. hey, did y'all see any of those like new angles coming out that shows like what the happened underneath the, the pier boat? and underneath the pier? The dude just like either was pushed in or jumped in himself. <laughs> there you go. No, I'm trying to escape. <laughs> yeah, because the fight basically went it went under the dock that they were filming on, and there's another uh, angle that shows like the dude, his friend gets hit and the other guy either just jumps in willingly or gets pushed in because like he swims back up. Oh, no, yeah. I said he jumped in. He saw them. That's when they had squared off mm -hmm. and the black guys ran up and the one guy was like, no. And he ran and jumped in the water. <laughs> like a cartoon you know, getaway. Like, coming over here did you see, with these good folks. Did you see the picture that had like uh, uh, Endgame when they had the portals open yeah. up and they're more... <laughs> <laughs> Best memes coming from the this. Memes are amazing. You saw the uh the meme where the dude had the chair on his hip. It's like <laughs> I just got my carry and conceal. <laughs> what? I have not seen that one. Hey, has <laughs> enough time? Has enough time passed? Like, can we can we say that that chair shot that old lady didn't deserve that at all? No, that old lady did not deserve uh, that. Yeah, she did. WWE. Fuck all that. That was that for Emmett Till. That was for Emmett Till. He ain't deserve that. <laughs> yeah, see me. Yeah, see me. That nigga came in with the if you grin, you win energy. That was a <laughs> devastating Undertaker shot. They was gonna the let rest. him go with all the other shit, right? When he was hitting the dude, cops and come on. As soon as he hit that lady in the head with that chair, them cops were like, all right, motherfucker, we was gonna let you rock, but you started rolling. They, they, they only, were just like letting it happen. Now, only huh? she was sitting down that they were like, all right, man. Because Emmett Till was, was in the down. bed. Emmett Till was in the bed when they came and got him. He, that nigga was 12 years old, 10 years old. She could take a cheer yeah. to the head. Oh, bitch, <laughs> fuck her. <laughs> <laughs> Not that they got t-shirts and everything yeah, already. The t-shirts. I can't wait. People are already painting the mural of the boat and the people around it on chairs. Uh, it's it's crazy. So, did you see one dude who was like he got a whole stock of he calling them Alabama slammers? <laughs> the, the chairs. Oh, the he chairs. Like whole, he was calling them Alabama slammers. Hey, the funniest part is that the boat looks like racist. It looks like it looks like one of them <laughs> old like, like boats, and it has those like banners on it. So it was just like the craziest backdrop for this fight. I read. Sawyer? I don't know how true it is, but I read that that dock area used to be uh, a shipping and receiving area for slaves, where they used to <gasps> sell, auction, and warehouse them at. Oh, so that was just karma coming full. That was circle. the ancestors. That was yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. It's on that river. Well, I forgot the name of that river. Delo like the that. Delaware River. Nah, it's um Montgomery River Plant. 
No, nah, I forgot the name of it, but it's like a river that go through a couple of them southern states. But yeah, they said that little horseshoe part area is where they used to come in and auction slaves off, and they would put them on the river. And you know what I'm saying? So that's, I mean, you know, hey man, Spiritual. the thing about that video yeah. that is 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 making it popular for black people to start standing up for each other. Like the reason why I'm enjoying all of this praise and shit that we giving these people is because, like, yeah, make that popular make that something that is a trend where it's like you see a black person in trouble and you black nigga not like that's not already the code but like hello we need to see that shit that was like a fire drill in being a fire and not a drill you know what i'm saying like this is how it goes you know what i'm saying like when he tossed that hat first of all he didn't even need to toss the hat like that he could i don't get it he tossed the hat like he graduated into that ass up like <laughs> Mm-mm. Like the 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 black signal, bro. Was yeah. like, oh. <laughs> that might have been in the training manual. We don't know. <laughs> so you ever find yourself in a tight situation? I thought he was gonna pull pull out some martial arts or something. I thought he was like, "You did it now," and then he just <laughs> he fell. I got his ass a little bit. I'm like, "Oh, nigga, you didn't even throw a blow." Matter of fact, when he pulled. He got like he, he caught a two piece off the pose. It was yeah. it was it was really cocky. <laughs> nothing was better than the black Aquaman. There was nothing better than was so he came in on. full yeah. like <laughs> he hey, listen, swam to swim, so swim from that swim. Pull yourself up and still have the energy to bing bing a motherfucker. Right. Hey, that's, <laughs> he, but he's sixteen. He got he got ten, teenager energy. Like oh yeah, he's in their thirties. You want to pull that off? The swim and the pull nah. up and the fight. Yeah, I still he he was... him up like uh. <laughs> <laughs> get him, get him. <laughs> I already yeah, just swam to get a better look. <laughs> just swim on the edge like this. <laughs> swim it and be like, Whew, all right, this is a good seat. <laughs> I'm tired as hell. <laughs> right. I'm surprised and I'm glad that nobody got shot or killed out there. Yeah. Right. Like where I'm old fashioned fist fight. That man. kind of fall and that kind of melee is like the perfect kind of um cover to start shooting. That, mm-hmm. That's do That's we okay. know why? Like what happened? Yeah. The 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 black guy, the security guard, was asking the people on the boat or just pulled up to move their boat so another boat could fit in and dock too. So they were either in the wrong space or like taking up too much space. So he was asking them to move the boat. And that's when they got off and the rumble started. Which is crazy. Like there's no there's no way to like be on the that the white family side it's like, like the boat was there they're just like hey you gotta you gotta move so it was it was more like right versus wrong than anything <laughs> so one yeah. of the guys that was on the white person's boat uh owns a restaurant supposedly and he made a post was like you yes that is me in a video uh as you can see when everything started i ran the opposite direction because i don't condone violence and it never should have happened, and it was wrong for the jump, uh, which is why I ran away from it because I didn't want to be a part of it. So he's trying to save face now, like, hey, I would, I didn't get hit, I didn't throw no punches. His white you know, customer and his black customers. That nigga gonna be serving Mexican food in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no snitching code in in white culture. So he was he's just to, like, hey, that was that was, sure, that was my brother. Sure his business don't get uh, rampaged. Hey. It's not really, well, there is, like, in the mafia, you can't snitch, right? I feel like in their high level, I guess in all their crime syndicate, you can't snitch, but... But they're Italians. That's different. Yeah. Uh, not the same as yeah, I'm, I'm country white, white people guy. in Montgomery. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> of course, I get that. Yeah. But I'm, they be like, yeah, was, yeah, that's crazy, man. You broke the code on no snitches. Well, I throw you in the river. Mm-hmm. Like that's it. Ain't no either or. Like, swims with the fishes. Fishes. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. That's so crazy that some people got punched and thrown in water. Like that's a crazy <laughs> two hit combo to get like hit, 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 and then like swim. That's wild. <laughs> Which one is worse? That water probably a good cool down for them punches. You know what I'm saying? Like, you get that. Ooh, yeah, my face yeah. was feeling. You know what I'm saying? Like. But, but you, you just gotta, gotta swim, swim the opposite way. Yeah, yeah, you still gotta float or do something. Like you can't do this, or you might get kicked in the face. So you just gotta <laughs> swim backwards. <laughs> you gotta float. That's that's. 
probably why that white dude jumped in there. He was just like, ha ha, I know y'all can't swim. Plot <laughs> 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 <Blood> twist. <laughs> wow. For some bees or something. Up. <laughs> That's funny. That's hey, this is about as good a spot as any for us to jump right into the today's first topic. We got the OG squad back in the building. We got main school, Lulu Gonzalez, Patrick Cloud, CP, and up to hear more. We're going to jump right into this first topic right after this. This episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. Let's talk about sex, fellas. Remember the days when you were always ready to go? Mm -hmm. Now you can increase your performance and get that extra confidence in the bedroom. Listen up. BlueChew.com, all right? Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra, Cialis, and Levitra. But they do it in chewable tablets and at the fraction of the cost. Plus, you can take them anytime, day or night, so you can plan ahead or be ready whenever the opportunity arises. The process is so simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you receive your prescription within days. And here's the best part. It's all done online, so no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. Blue Chew's tablets are made in the USA and prepared and shipped direct to your door in a discreet package. Look, they always say first impressions are important. What about lasting impressions? Blue Chew wants to help you have a better sex drive. Discover your options at BlueChew.com. Chew it and do it. And we got a special deal for our listeners, all right? Try Blue Chew free! When you use the promo code SQUAD at checkout, all right? Just pay $5 for shipping. That's BlueChew.com, promo code SQUAD, S-Q-U-A-D-D, to receive your first month free. Visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information, and we thank BlueChew for sponsoring this podcast. First topic of the day we have, would you rather converse with an alien versus a ghost? Damn. I feel like an alien would have way more important or, or cool stuff to say because you could talk to a ghost of a nigga who had a boring life and he's just like, well, you know. <laughs> well, you could attack. also talk to an alien who had a boring life. All he does is like, you traveled here. Whoa. You think I'm talking to the boring like, alien that's on the ship? Wait a minute. Just, yeah, he he might could have, have also on the just ship. been a janitor all his life. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> alien with no bitches. What if the alien... <laughs> The whole planet is like Ohio. He's like, yeah, all we do is just really just go to carnivals and eat. Carnivals. You'd be like, man, what the fuck? That would be interesting to me. I'd be like, tell me about the alien carrots or whatever. You know, like I would, I would still want to know more about that. Than... What is it? Yeah, like, what it's is just regular carrots. We took it from y'all planet. They just regular carrots, <laughs> right? <laughs> How, what does it look like? <laughs> carrots. Can we can we get it down to like, is it a ghost that you know, or like, you know, what I'm saying of somebody that you knew. Or just a random ghost, because it's a random alien, obviously. Right, it's a random ghost, but it's somebody probably from like, let's go to different time know, period, eighteen hundreds. Yeah, I mean, can cool. this ghost help me find some gold or something, or lost treasure? That's the shit like, I would ask. Yeah, I would ask that type. Like, of is is there any riches around here that I can get my hands on? My God, like that's when you found out they're boring, and they're like, treasure? No, I'm. <laughs> Just, I was just a regular guy. CP, every time you try to talk, you, you're you muted until somebody else starts or stops talking. I don't know what's going on with the mic. Oh, what'd you say? But I'm saying you got more to tell the ghost than the ghost got to tell you. You got to catch that nigga up on what's been happening. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, he didn't miss <laughs> Game of Thrones is over. He, he got questions. You know what I'm saying? Like, But, but, but can ghosts watch TV with us and shit? They see what's going on. He could watch what's happening. I feel like ghosts ain't got the attention span for TV. Why not? You think they got ADD? They got nothing else they, to do to hear. You ain't never seen the ghost just chilling. Like if a ghost ain't like traveling or scaring somebody, they not around. They don't. You'll never just see them. Just no, to like, hear. They're wandering. How many times <laughs> you done came across a ghost? I don't know, six or seven. <laughs> Damn. Wait, what like for real? Like, the locker room is probably haunted than the motherfucker. Of, like old freak ghosts who like yo. They just in there, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> think about it. They're just not watching TV. They're doing other cool shit. Like, they're probably at Disneyland. They're probably all the funnest places. Yeah, Disneyland. <laughs> Go <Ghost. laughs> like, like, in, but not visible. Just yeah. doing shit. It is, where would you be if you was invisible? Think about it. If you were invisible, what would you do? You would not be trying to watch TV, and you could go through walls, and you could fly. I want a Michael B's house. 
Who said you could fly though? <laughs> Go, well, why would ghosts have to walk? They they float. They like coast. Listen, your physicalness is attached to this body and what this body's limitations are. So who's to say that a soul or a ghost? I don't think they float fast though. I feel like they float like how they you walk at speed. Yeah, they float well, if that's the case, yeah. then the ghost should be like in galaxies. Like I could go if I'm a ghost, I can go see what's up with these aliens. Yeah. If I'm, but- because it's if like I'm, tired. What, what would make them go slow, man? Like, where would that come from? Why would it go so slow? What would make them go fast? Because there's no there's no physical limitations. Like you would think that with no like slow. So why are they even on Earth? Why wouldn't they just go like Lou said? Why wouldn't they just go to another planet? The people who they love are here and they want to watch over them. Popping in no, the they, Man, ghosts be floating yeah. slow. Okay. They don't float fast. Seven miles an hour max. <laughs> Those probably are bored as hell. They probably love TV. They probably be bored as hell just wandering around in the dark looking for a body. They're in a body. whole different plane. I don't understand this. They're not here here. They're in a different realm. Bro, fuck TV. I would go to the set and watch them film the shit. Film what? The that TV. is boring. Wait, why, why, but you're not a ghost. No, if I'm a ghost, why would I wait till the show comes out to watch the show when I can go to the They set? don't film in order, CP. So now you're, not you're a ghost watching and it <laughs> don't make sense. You're not a ghost and you're not turning into a ghost. You watching the place. last episode and, the, and they didn't even shoot the first episode yet. Like, Fine, hold up, hold up. What did I haunt the, <laughs> I haunt the edit bay. That's a good point, though. <laughs> You hot in the edit bay? And oh, then, yeah, that's better because then you get to see it play out. Like, this, this script don't make no goddamn sense, bro. Like, <laughs> they don't even edit in order. Block shoots. Every show don't block shoot, bro. And if you know the show, like, dog, you can know what happens if you know the people. If you watch Game of Thrones and you missed the last three seasons and you pop in on them film, you know, oh, shit, John's still <laughs> dead. Oh, shit, uh, like... Uh, you already, you you already, you already, you ghost already, life ever. I'd rather haunt people. Get your <laughs> slow ass up, seven miles an hour, not going nowhere. Can't do shit. CP, you gonna be haunting the seven hour down period where they setting up lights? He's <laughs> 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 just like, I didn't oh. think this through at all. <laughs> like the to... green screen bay where they're like putting the dragons together. You got a, like... you, you got a hot post production. <laughs> you niggas <need> are. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. First yeah, of all, CP don't got the patience for that because he's gonna be mad at the editors for not editing in the way he wants the story to go. Like you're like, keep, keep that scene in. You can't tell nobody. CP is only gonna in. haunt trap houses so he can be around weed smoke. He ain't gonna be nowhere where they ain't smoking weed. They can stop lying to the people. Smoke weed everywhere to here. I would go from blunt to blunt, living my life as. But a you don't breathe because you're not human, so it doesn't even affect you. And I smell. Yes, I can. Uh-huh. No, you said that. That is a physical attribute, not a. a... But I'm out you. I can smell. Don't tell me I gotta walk slow because I can do anything I want. I can go all over the world. But seven miles at a time. You know how slow and dumb <laughs> that'd be for a ghost, bro? <laughs> oh, you gotta man. move with a family. Okay. You can't just do it on your own. <laughs> you gotta attach to a plane. Like, I'm taking flight. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about haunted right. Pl- haunted plane would be wild as fuck because you stuck in the air. You can't go nowhere. It's just wild shit started happening. All the overhead bins start coming down. They oh, no. never stop and ask you what you want to drink. <laughs> Can I get a... You to here? Imagine you want to haunt a plane, but the plane is delayed. Now you're like, man, I can't even fucking go to so I'm gonna stand by as a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> you can just be in the pilot seat, though. You say what? If you're a ghost, you just <laughs> you just sitting on the pilot's lap like hey, this is cool. <laughs> lap. Why would you sit on the lap? Sit on the roof. I would not stand like, behind them niggas, Pat. See that? See that be your problem, Pat. You be saying shit I don't understand. You can just stand behind them niggas and get the same view. This nigga said, "It's was, it was funnier." Have <laughs> to sit down. Oh, you sit on a lap. You know he wanted to sit on somebody. That nigga lap. trying to make it weird. Nigga, Pat, yeah, get on their lap and they just ride. You know, <laughs> you're the first cowgirl and just like you know, get the good views. You know. <laughs> Views of the six, huh, Pat? Pat want to wanna twerk on somebody <laughs> as a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> you seen that video? It was like this chick on the subway in New York was like she was getting fucked by a ghost. And <laughs> you didn't see that? Huh? Oh, it was a, it was a chick on the train. 
and she was laying down and she was going like this and she was like a ghost was fucking her she was on the floor probably like a seizure <laughs> hey <laughs> right there like three or four <laughs> ghost fuck videos coming out recently right what if that they pull the shit off <laughs> what if that's the aliens though and they could be invisible they blaming it on ghosts and shit i swear to god dog paul ghosts as scapegoats you say what <laughs> They using the ghost as a scapegoat. Like, no, 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 it wasn't us. It was the ghost. Hey, you know they have ghosts here. Let's just do that. <laughs> we could be, we could be invisible. <laughs> fuck it. Yeah, yeah. Fuck all that probe shit, nigga. Let's just get some ass. Let's just see. Hey, can you go imagine when they first came up with? It? Hey, guys, I got a plan. Hear me out. So <laughs> we can do whatever we want to do down here. They believe in dead people. <laughs> mm -mm. Blame it on their dead. No, that's crazy. Like hella ghost videos coming out with people getting fucked by ghosts, like all in the bed and shit, mm -hmm. like getting like worked out by. by Do you think the aliens was like, like what if the what if they have something in that body that fucks us up? It's like nigga, we can fix all of that. They can't even they can't even match our airplanes and shit. Let's let's try. The first mm -hmm. nigga to fuck the human was like nigga. Hey, I ain't gonna lie though, that is true. Like not just that, but like the fact that like yo, we're so primitive, like we're still flying rockets. Mm -hmm. It's like sitting on a firecracker yeah. and just trying to go as high as you can. Like that's pretty amazing, though. Well, no, it's amazing compared to nothing. But like, bro, they have anti gravity, like turn in the air, like vessels that that we got on video. Where all we doing is fucking firing a bottle rocket and sitting on them. <laughs> Intergalactic, and we're trying to be like, did we really land on the moon? Right. <laughs> I and feel they like get, we still doing some shit. They got wind blowing with the flag on the moon and footprints. It's just like, come on, man. These niggas. All right. I, I, whatever. <laughs> we should damn rockets. They can have a whole uh, society on the other side of the moon. We would never know because we've never seen the other side of the moon, the dark side. Dark side. Right. I really, I really want to know if the aliens saw Elon Musk with that car. Who was it? Who who drove the car into space as a spaceship? Well, they just. I think they just shot it into space, right? Hold on, why have we never seen the other side of the moon? I thought we spinning around that bit. It always no. the dark side of the moon it's is spinning around us. Because it spins, yeah, it's, it, it, it rotates the same as we do. So we never get to see the back side of the moon. Right? The whole city. That's crazy, right? He's spinning and is spinning. Theoretically, at some point, we should have seen all the surfaces of it. Mm -hmm. Unless we're spinning a little bit faster than them like equally well, this, yeah if it's make us because, it, because of the distance because of the distance between us you never see we never see the back side of it because it's spinning the same time we do all these non-astronaut niggas who i've never seen do any space shit talk about this is the reason because because i was reading about it all right all right well <laughs> well look it up cp look it up <laughs> you got a phone right I'm there in the <laughs> <laughs> like duh <laughs> Look up what? Something that somebody else said who ain't been to the moon either? Nigga, what, what are you looking up? It's like, it right but who would you believe, nigga? Alien? Who would, who, who, Look, who word would you take on it? Would be, I would believe an alien. They think it. it. Okay, well, call one of the yeah. niggas up. Around the moon. Oh, wait, that's the album. Listen, if I could get an alien on my, on my, on my hip, I'm, I'm gonna call him. Like, hey, man, what's up? I got some questions. And are you single? Who uh on who on this Zoom is more likely to get abducted? To here. I say to here. Say to here. Because oh, he got the fattest ass. If we were all oh. <laughs> they they were like, oh, we gotta probe that. Like, ooh, we has got to probe all that'd be that. crazy if that's how it worked. That's how they chose people. <laughs> Why like a... <laughs> what, they, what if there was like a UFO investigator that had like a bunch of string? <laughs> Like all the abductees, like they all were thick. <laughs> <laughs> Margaret Chowshin in Wisconsin, <laughs> thick as hell. <laughs> they left in Las Vegas, like nigga, they they scour in the streets for BBLs and and thick freckle niggas. Nah, they wanted authentic. That's why they need authentic thickness to validate. They saw his hips and the thickness. They was like, we got to have him on the ship. That's we that got. The Whatever. probes did no information. They weren't even electronic. It was just like, yeah. <laughs> no stats. Terrible. No research. <laughs> Damn.
I don't like this. Because <laughs> <laughs> the freckles to here, like, if we were all, like, dogs, you would be worth more money because you're, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you got, like, them specs. You know how them dogs, you know, oh, this one, this one, 30,000 because they got the specs. Nigga. Y'all put it to a vote? Y'all put it to a vote? <laughs> You like a design? <laughs> I'm going. I'm going with aliens. What y'all picking? Aliens. 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 I want the scoop. All right, yeah. aliens. It is. We're gonna jump into this next topic right after this. All right, next topic of the day. We have sandals versus boots forever. Sandals. Ever. Wait, like or- you can't ever change your you you can't ever change your your shoes or you can't ever wear the other one. You can't ever change your shoes. So it's either sandals, all types of sandals. You do flops. You could do the, the thong sandals. You can do the Jesus walk sandals. All types of boots, hiking boots, Timberlands. You know. I mean, there's some boots that got the toes out. Yeah, they got a Croc boot that kind of yeah. got. Yeah. bitch, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Get a boot man. Oh. I'm gonna say boot because I don't know if the apocalypse gonna happen, and I need to be able to run. You can't right. run in slides or flip flops or something. You, you don't want to be like running from zombies with your toes out. Well, Crocs are, are Crocs technically sandals. Would you consider Crocs sandals? Because you could put them in sport mode and take off. It's still sandals. Them still what sandals. What, what's the definition of a sandal? Let me see. Oh, now I, niggas can look I, shit up. I, now niggas can look shit up. I was looking up the dark side of the moon. I just didn't get a chance. <laughs> a sandal? Isn't it a shoe with a strap? Is that what's considered a sandal? Well, then what about slides? Short That's for sandal. A sandal. It is a sandal. Well, a flip flop. Type of sandal. Flip flops, I believe, is a type of sandal. I think, right? Sandals are light shoes you wear in warm weather, which have straps instead of a solid part over the top of your foot. That's what CollinsDictionary.com says. Let's hmm. see what Webster. A sandal. A shoe consisting of a sole strapped to the foot, a low-cut shoe that fastens by an ankle strap. So I guess that would be a croc. A strap to hold on a slipper or a low shoe, a rubber overshoe cut very low. So I guess a croc is a sandal, huh? Basically, they're all sandals. There's different types. Yeah. Okay. It's like summer. I mean, I wear my Tims in the summer and I'm cool with those. <laughs> You don't, don't do that, man. Don't Tim's that. at the beach. I do. <laughs> That's why your feet are white. That's how she almost lost that Adidas deal. They was like, "Listen, you can't <laughs> keep fucking coming out here with these Tim's." Listen, but they you're ruining you the fairway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yo, if yeah. I could get some spikes on some Tim's, trust me, that'd be that'd be funny as hell. <laughs> I'm on the green if I can get some spikes on my Tim's. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they never gonna let you wear them good country clothes. They be like, we just can't do it. Like <laughs> <laughs> how racist we look, we're not gonna allow. This. <laughs> we'll take the blowback. This is never gonna happen. <laughs> it's never going to happen. Uh-huh. And we like you. We really like you. But... <laughs> uh uh uh. Now That's please escort the nigger out. <laughs> Hard ER. Move all the chairs. Hey, next, time I, the chairs. next time I go to Trump's course, I'm gonna wear them Tims with some spikes. <laughs> That'd be tight. Yeah. Wait, Lulu, <laughs> do you have to like? Is it? It's, it's expensive to golf, right? Like each. How much does it cost? Like on average, give us a range per a golf time. course. It depends on the course. Like if it's a like the course I was at this weekend. It's like maybe 110 to play for the round. But there's another course I go to where it's only 34 to play for the round. But the course don't look as good. Right. And it's not as fancy. And the greens ain't as green. So about like, if you have to buy balls and all of that, it's more expensive too, right? Yeah, for a pack of balls, you're going to spend about 50 bucks, 40 to 50 bucks. If you're good and you don't lose balls, that's, that's perfect. You, you have some on, on stock. But if you be losing balls, you're going to spend like 40, 40 for the pack. Sheesh. So 40 for the pack. If you say, oh, I'm, I'm playing today. I need new balls and I, I need a cart. You're going to spend like 150 to play. So that's why black people don't be golfing. It costs $25 to hoop. 
<laughs> equipment it's but that. your sneakers. <laughs> All you need is sneakers or Tim's. Remember, the day pass, a Gatorade, you can hoop for 17 hours. <laughs> <laughs> How much for like uh those high end golf courts like uh Trump and stuff like those the big ones the country club type stuff? When I went to Trump's course, it was sponsored, so I didn't have to pay. Thank goodness. But they said to play on Trump's course is about three hundred and twenty five dollars. What about Augusta or like one of them ones like uh you know like what's that one golf course that everybody wants to do Pebble Beach something like that Beach. I don't know how much Pebble Beach is, but I'm pretty sure it can't be like maybe 150, 200, oh, Ma- maybe even more, maybe even more. I don't, I don't, I don't know, but I'm thinking like thousand dollar courses. You said what? You need like thousand dollar courses? Uh, not that I know of. Like Dubai. But I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they're out there. I'm pretty sure they're out there. Who is on there? Oh my gosh, this is too rich for my blood. There's a golf that's course on my house, and it's like ninety five dollars. So they suck. So now that I know, no, that's a good course. No, that's a good course. Oh. Ninety five. That's that's a good oh, course. Okay. Because I if would it was be like, like ha, y'all course is stupid. Okay. Nah, if it's like twenty five, thirty five, then it's like, oh, it's like a bowling alley. Be well. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it be dirt everywhere. The grass ain't like taken care. It ain't mo- like mowed as long. It's like high grass, and then your ball be in the grass, and it's harder to hit. So it's like, man, man who gonna do, the- gonna do the maintenance out here, man? <laughs> Fucking you rat know. takes the ball. <laughs> yeah, they be coy- they be coyotes out there. They be Damn. ducks and stuff out there, like. That's How crazy. have you not met a golf daddy? It's nothing but men out there. Golf daddy, yeah, but they all be white. So. Listen, can I get my black king? Can I? Look, your king you might be a stuff. little less melanated. It's Look, okay. All that talking. No, she would only bring a, a black man home to her mama too, so cut it off. <laughs> so, uh, Jesus Christ, man. I'm just saying, you don't know. You are, you might be I missing your know. blessing. You over here asking God for a man and he just set you in the middle of all those men and you're like, no, not these. Mm-mm-mm. Man, you've been you've been married for all the two weeks. Just calm the shit down, all right? <laughs> two months. Thank you. Yeah, but who's counting? Honestly, <laughs> <laughs> we play the no, best. I'm just saying, you got all those men's. There's uh-uh. got to be at least a couple of cuties on there. I want me a a, a black one. Thank you very much. They right. my might have a black friend. You know, that's what I be asking them. Maybe like I I got one black friend. Gerald? Yeah, I'll call him right now. <laughs> I asked them all of them. Like, I met this super rich couple, and like, I was like, hey, man, whenever you have, like, a, a you know, one of your yacht parties with your black friends that are kind of rich, you can invite me. And the girl looks over, and she goes, nah, you need you a white one. I could see you with a white man. I was like, I don't know what kind of white vibes I'm giving off, but I don't want it. See? You might be missing your blessing. You need to enact Project Bob, okay? I did that a few Meg, years I'm ago. A, I'm about to meet you. I'm gonna meet. I'm gonna meet you, Meg. What is my project, <laughs> Bob? Project. So I have this theory, right? I feel like men look at black women, but we are just focused on black men, so we never notice anybody else. So Project Bob is where for the for a month, whatever energy you give to black men, you give the same energy to white men so for example when you walk in a room and you just know you immediately just notice black men in a room right right lulu like you just notice oh there's two dudes there he cute he's not cute whatever so during the month of project bob you give that same energy to the bobs in the room you see the two black dudes okay i gotta look at the white men too and what i noticed is that white men be checking out black just as much as not more than black men but we never noticed because we don't be looking at them and well, i went and i tell you that much i didn't have i had more white dudes talk to me that month than i ever had in my entire life because my energy was like oh just as inviting as it was to black men it was like you just relaxed your shoulders and niggas was just more apt to approach you because when you're sitting <laughs> like this did you un- don't want to come up to you like yeah let me get a damn and tonic Mutant in the turtle build ass while you say, <laughs> just relax. 
I thought Project wow. Bob meant that you cut your hair into a bob. And it's like, no, Project that's Bob. Safe, that's, yeah, a, that's a safe hairstyle for black women and white women. We see like black men see white women with a bob. We be like, oh, she fuck black, she fuck black dudes. <laughs> so I thought it was the same thing with black women. Y'all get a bob. White guys be like, that's my queen. I mean, I did that already. I cut my hair to a bob. I'm ready. Um, but I just can't. <laughs> I'm white just penis is not. Thing. I can't do. Don't all. worry. What is more important in life? Somebody penis. who loves cares. Okay, but you don't know until you penis. get on that penis. You don't know how good it is. Okay, I don't want. I don't. I can't just see white penis going in my mouth. It don't work. It don't do well. It's like close your eyes. Close your eyes. You don't look until you're ready to close make contact. Close your eyes. Anyway, close you can't eyes, see it once it's in your mouth. So go ahead, girl. <laughs> It's like, mm-mm, mm, like Robitussin. Like, uh, I'm just telling you for uh, one month, one month, try Project Bob and you will see a difference in your life. If it's going to make the black man jealous, maybe. But I'm just that's telling you, try it and see. You won't is know. That part of it? No. Is that part of it? The dudes are like, hey, she's talking to the white guys. I want to. It might be. But so, again, you don't know until you try it. Project Bob, try it one month. Meg, how did you trap your husband? I mean, how did you find your husband? <laughs> I got trapped. Mm. I did. You I was looking you? my best. Yeah, girl. Oh, yeah, you did tell me he trapped you. Seven months in, and I got pregnant. It wasn't my doing. <laughs> uh, were you requiring him to put a condom on every time? Because that's a two. No, I was out here raw dogging, okay? Duh. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> that was during raw dog it just don't sound right i don't ever want to hear you say raw dog oh we be raw dog and women be raw dog in these streets i mean that's what happened was this during they was this during me. project jamal <laughs> <laughs> after, after project bob i went to uh project project roberto and project wang and then project project uh, wang how come you didn't go to project wang that's asian i tried i told him that you didn't it didn't, it didn't stick for you? No, it didn't. It didn't. You know, I just Listen, was like, oh, well, I tried to open myself know, up. It Asian women are known for being submissive. You, They had one conversation with men. It's like, nah. Right. Like, She's not the Asian black, I need. Too much black. <laughs> <laughs> way too much black. Ooh, she talked too much. She know way too many words. <laughs> <laughs> way too many words? <laughs> <laughs> hey, we were talking about this yesterday. We were watching uh, Thor Ragnarok. It was like, how come when Bruce Banner turns to the Hulk, he gets so big, but he loses all his vocabulary. Why does he talk like he is a, a immigrant? Like, why does that, how does he- Maybe immigrant? his brain gets smaller. That's what I thought. I was like, cause your brain can only compute so much. And so that's why his body got bigger. So the brain got to like, like because work on that. Yeah. Cause when he's Bruce, he's super, super smart. He's contained in his human body. Uh -huh. and his brain is functional. But when he gets to the Hulk, he's like, his brain is not. Does he change? Doesn't he kind of change into something else? A dumb version of himself. No, but that's also, I mean, it makes sense to me because if you think about it, it's kind of the same for like children, like little boys and little girls, because boys tend to be a little bit bigger. They have like, the, I feel like the brain capacity goes towards like, like physical functions because boys are just, they have more dexterity, all that at a younger age. And then, but the girls on the flip side, have more words and they seem to be more like in touch in touch emotionally so they can like say more stuff but they can't physically do more stuff and then it's vice versa for the boys that are the same age so you saying that there's no big fat geniuses <laughs> i mean there's always <laughs> outliers <laughs> always an outlier <laughs> fat jesus but you never see like like what's the dude that that wrestler dude like the green giant type of guy like, all them big stocky dudes be dumb. Like they don't be like world class. What's his name? The big that's the nigga on the can of peas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> you talking about the I no, I, yeah, I know no, you're no. talking about. Yeah. I mean, you're not wrong. That nigga only know ho ho ho. Green giant. <laughs> you see? That's three words. That nigga's vocabulary is limited to three words. He repeats one of them. No, one time. word that he repeats. It's right. one word. And then what? green giant, that's two other words. So three words. Oh, uh, okay. They, they're not that smart. You know what I'm saying? They're the biggest they are. The brain, Nobody the brain can have it all. Strength. Nobody can have it all. What um yeah, what's 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 with, you good over there? What 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 are we going with? We're going with sandals or boots. We got yeah, way yeah. off topic. We we started. <laughs> 
I was trying to I was trying to remember it. I was like, wow. I couldn't, I I couldn't remember. I'm uh, boots. boots. TP ain't been the same since we was talking about them aliens. <laughs> 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 he got mad as shit. But I get mad at it. I forgot. <laughs> hey, bro, bro, I'm hungry, dog. I'm just, I'm, man. I, I, you know how you just be at work, like, man, I'm ready to fucking go, dog. I need to get. Some, this ain't personal. I'm just, you know, what I'm saying, I just didn't say. But um, yeah, I don't know what I'm talking. This ain't even no real job. I do other shit too, Meg. I've been no doing- this. I'm saying this is podcast. <laughs> you even go get something to eat right now in the middle of. I can't be all right, y'all. But I want to eat now. I want to go <laughs> and go get a meal now. What you about to eat? Use your tongue and catch this? some flies. You'll be fine. <laughs> hey, guys, well, just, if that don't work, why don't you shrug me a bug? Shrug your- <laughs> <laughs> me a bug. Oh, oh. <laughs> All right, so everybody said everybody said sandals on that one. Nah, wait. What you going with Lou? You going boots forever? Forever, my G. Boots, my guy. Okay, CP. Boots. Pat. I'm doing boots. Pat's doing boots with the fur. <laughs> 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 Damn! <laughs> Great timing, Meg. That, that was, was good, good, Meg. That was that was <laughs> really good, Meg. What you going with? I'm gonna do sandals. Okay. Them big uh, wooden ones that the samurai. <laughs> 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 She's about to avenge her brothers. <laughs> <laughs> on that video yesterday with those sandals kicking people yeah. oh, I would have locked their ass up like the nigga with the chain about to avenge the whole village <laughs> avenge my master <laughs> All right, I'm, going, I'm going boots too the boots have it on that one we're going to jump into this last topic right after this last topic of the day we have would you rather be a genius at math Versus business. Math, you said? Mm-hmm. Oh, easy. <laughs> business. Like that. Math. Business. Yeah, business. Business. We got calculators now. I don't need math. Accountants, all that. No, well, that's not really. Hold on to here. That's not really Apple. Like, that's not really fair because business includes a lot of math. Mm-hmm. Not necessarily. But what if well, in order to get a business degree, you exactly. do have to take statistics, you got to take accounting, you got to do all that. Yeah, Meg, but you're taking entry level uh, uh, of that. When I'm, think, when I'm talking business, I'm talking about consulting, I'm telling, you know, promotion, figuring out your demographic, forecasting. That's what I'm talking about with business. You could take something that's a small business and help them expand, right? Just from that time. The genius I'm part with saying, the math, you're going to have to you're going to let me finish. I'm not going to let you gonna let Sorry, me I thought it was you're not going to fast talk me or nothing. You gonna let me finish? Because if I don't say this, then you are gonna say something I would have said, but you would have heard it if you wasn't talking. You're let me <laughs> to hear fed up. Watch it. Watch it with the full dad mode. Because Meg loved to fast talk and over talk somebody with her shoulders. That's when she make herself big. And it's like if you just be quiet, I'm gonna say your question. <laughs> I'm gonna answer it if you just let me finish. He do this to me all the time. That's you the do that to me. You still talking, and you still talking, <laughs> and you still talking. <laughs> on the on the math side, you're a genius in the sense of like you come up with new formula uh, formulas for gas or fuel efficient cars or removing fossil fuels altogether. You can go to Vegas and break the house because you figured out the uh, the the formulas for the cards or your counting cards, whatever it is. Like you're a mathematical. Genius. Are you saying they're not like loose, like sauces? Dipping sauces formula? Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> That's what the hair gonna use his mouth for. Let that new haircut get your ass beat, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I invented spicy ketchup. Don't you shake it. Don't you Sorry shake it, goddamn Bobby. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> you shut up too bad. I saw your goddamn like, act out. I don't need that shit from you. I see mustard mayo barbecue sauce. My dreams come true. 
<laughs> Finally, no one will ever deny me sauces again. <laughs> a mad scientist that ain't like just all sauces. Like, are we in trouble? I would, no. I would come out with a sauce. <laughs> all sauce. <laughs> that tastes like the meat we eat, right? So you have a rib sauce, you, see? you have a chicken sauce, you have a turkey sauce, and you could put that on rice and it tastes like you're eating whatever that food is that you're eating, it would taste like that sauce, that meat sauce. Do something with that. I know you would. He already had that in his back. But, but, but still fuck you. Still fuck you though. Chicken sauce with rice. That's his bucket list. <laughs> like great sauce flavored meat sauce. Yeah, like yeah. that's that'd be welcome, great. Universe. <laughs> Shut up, Lou. No, don't try to make it something good after something what you were trying to do. <laughs> he gonna get his funding cut because they asked him to cure a disease. <laughs> Real man. I didn't do that. I didn't do that, but but <laughs> taste this. Hear me out. <laughs> you got, that listen, you, like got, meat. you got turkey and dressing in a jar. It's like peanut butter. You spread it over some bread. <laughs> Yo, that's wild. Using your grand money to heal the world just to make sauces. I'm curious starvation, nigga. I'm curious starvation, bro. I'm going I'm to get the Nobel Peace Prize for this shit. You oh. just need meat flavor sauces. <laughs> CP I'm would appreciate that right now. CP wants some meat flavored sauce. <laughs> that sounds wild. By a teaspoon. <laughs> <laughs> meat flavored <laughs> sauce. And you want some meat flavored sauce in your mouth. We got you, baby. <laughs> Open up. <laughs> Oh, is done with us today. I'm sorry, <laughs> CP. You said you was hungry. The glizzy it's sauce. You, Meg, it's you that started the shit. I did it. Meg, you always start a shit and then be like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, that's Pat. Pat is the one that does it. I'll be saying sorry. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> no. I say sorry? Pat does it. He don't say he's sorry because he's not. Okay, that's what you... he was explaining then. <laughs> <laughs> that was you. That's you. <laughs> As he's twirling his dreads. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Good day, ZB. Hungry for this shit, dog. Let's let's. <laughs> We doing what is it? Aliens or uh, or <laughs> sauce? Three questions ago. <laughs> Alien sauce. Alien meat sauce. Alien Ooh. meat sauce. I don't <laughs> meat sauce, bro. I zoned out. It was <laughs> all I remember was uh, you get rich. Whatever. Let's get this shit over. What what we doing? <laughs> what we doing? What we on? What we on, man? Just eat your weed. I know you have some there. I'm not going to eat my weed, man. That's your problem. See, my wife is out of town. So usually I have a breakfast coming to me and I'm just fending for my- He oh, doesn't yeah. know what to do. <laughs> 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 I'm usually not hungry around this time. <laughs> oh, Something's see, different. This is why wives are important. They take care of yeah. What you out here eating while she's gone? Are you like making real meals or are you just going to do fast food? Just, I'm, no, I'm post many from excellent restaurants because the prices are great. Yeah. Is one person. See, people don't understand that when you a dad and yes. I want to order the steakhouse, right? So we go to the steakhouse, and you know my kids got crazy palate. So now I'm getting like plates of oysters and all this shit, shrimp and all, and it's my bill is like two hundred and thirty eight, four hundred dollars. Oh, order myself a salad, a steak, or some shit like that, <laughs> like eighty bucks. And I have been in, yep. I have been enjoying that part of it. But I didn't get a breakfast today. I usually get Chick Fil A breakfast, but I forgot to order it. <laughs> I, I, love to how order you keep, I love how you keep talking like it's somebody else's fault. I, like, I, to usually, order it. I usually get breakfast, but uh, <laughs> today I guess. I forgot to order it today, man. Whatever. I had to I had to man, I had to feed the animals, man. I gotta be having to do shit, bro. What animals? Uh, you, uh, you got two dogs or just one? So you know I keep frogs, bro. Paws. I like frogs a lot. Meg, if you want to make a joke about it, that's fine. But no, I you take care of family. You got to. You took that joke out. Yeah, I was waiting for <laughs> yeah. somebody. You know they probably looking at him like, Come on, man, how you how you going how y'all gonna do this to me? He got, he got some shoulders on free. Bet him. How you get out, man? Say what? Traitor. They look at us. They look at us <laughs> like, man, how'd you evolve, man? How'd you get out? 
How do you evolve? They They're like, sell out. We <laughs> sell out. <laughs> Look at you wearing clothes and shit. I let you know you know how to rip it the same. Right. <laughs> you don't even know what. So like, they ask you what that mouth do. Why it don't do what it used to do? You don't catch bugs no more. You out here, steakhouse, house, postmate. You change. Mediocre. Mediocre, Lou. I like that one. That one was good. <laughs> Say, like. Meg came in hot with the family one. To here came in with a swing and a miss. Talk about he ain't even wear clothes anymore. Listen, guys, <laughs> I have frogs. There's frogs on my merch. You guys know I love frogs, so I take the frog jokes because I got big eyes. I get it. You know what I'm saying? If I'm a frog, I'm a I'm I'm a good looking frog. God damn it! But how many frogs do you have? I have three, three uh what? Australian white street frogs. So like the ones. You see on uh, Instagram and stuff, they be looking like glass almost. They're super shiny. Yeah, they're dope. They eat. Named me, myself, and I. (laughs) 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 Me, myself. That is the worst. I don't know. And it ain't no. (laughs) Finish your act out, cause it's cause it's your act out is premium. You guys are. Worse than me. Don't ever say that. Hey. Me, myself, and I, that shit was gold, nigga. I don't give a fuck. No, what you say? If he would have said me, myself, and eyes, then that would have been funny. <laughs> but like, nah, like, we good over here. We like that one. <laughs> nah, we like that one, nigga. That was, that was a home run. Like that was off the park. No, me, myself, and eyes is better. I, I, I'm with you, CP. Yeah, right. <laughs> Me, I know. Thanks, Kramer. I'm trying to tell you guys that I, I, I know it's funny. You know what I'm saying? I get it. <laughs> well, let's put it to a vote, man. What y'all no, going with? Question. What was the question? <laughs> right. What the name oh, of the- Oh, oh, business. Genius business. at math or genius at business? Oh, yeah. Business. Business. What, how business. Get- What'd you say, CB? <laughs> I never know. Nothing. Just, I don't know how we got the sauce. I forgot what the question was. <laughs> oh, because it was like, you using that money, and I thought he was going to make, you know, New sauces with his. If he's a genius, math, at <laughs> he gonna make new sauces with the math he mapping with. Oh, so. okay. that's why I didn't like it. That's why I zoned out. It wasn't funny to me. Um, <laughs> I'm fucking with business. I'm fucking with business. Go, nigga, go eat. Oh my god. Yeah, be out. We'll get a sandwich. You worse up. than it. You might as well be a chick on your her period. You are. Yeah, a you mad emo. Never <laughs> I like nothing. I need food in my stomach. Take your mind all and get out of here. Hey, yo, you want a tampon? I got a tampon for you. You want one? <laughs> Put it up in the butt. That's what you like it anyway. <laughs> wow. So we're going to put it to a vote. We're going to get up out of here. I'm going to go with uh, a genius at math. Um, why? That's my we choice. know why. That is. You know we why. already went over it. Huh. You know why? <laughs> Sauces. <laughs> you know where his heart lies. Come on now. Uh, uh-uh. math for me, Meg. What you going with? Uh, business. You don't Ooh, go your fast. You can never go home. Go ahead, Lou. Uh, business. Pat. Biz. Okay. Business. Business too. All right. The business oh, has man. it on that one, man. Uh, shout out to everybody that watches. Shout out to the OG Spot, Meg, Stu, Lulu, Gonzalez, CP. Uh, Patrick Cloud. Of course, I'm to hear more. We'll see you next week on a new episode of Squadcast Versus. Peace, guys.